Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali and in today's video I'm going to show you how I've created the look for Amina Moadi for the Valentino show. I was posting this picture on my Instagram and a lot of you loved the makeup and I was so happy because I knew that I could do a video for you guys. So here it is. We're usually staying away from cool tones and she's all about bronzy looks. She loves very, like very natural, very bronzy looks. But this time she was wearing this beautiful Lila dress. And when I saw the color, I was like, oh, it, it, it's such a beautiful color on you and then she's like I want something that is sexy but sweet in the same time so this is the look that we came out with and then this is what it looks like on myself now if you'd like to see how I've created this look then please keep on watching whenever I do Amina's makeup I never use a primer I use moisturizer and then the only thing that I use before foundation <clears throat> sorry is this Hollywood flawless filter from Charlotte Tilbury I use the color number five on her she's a medium dark skin tone so obviously this would look gray on her I'm using number three for myself and I typically apply this in the highest points of the face just like I do on myself in here I spread it with my fingers and as you can see this gives you a very beautiful very natural sheen to the skin it does not have coverage so don't buy this product if you're looking for coverage that's not what it's supposed to be doing when I know that I'm going to be using a dark eyeshadow or black I always start with the eyes especially when I'm doing a client's makeup because when I'm in a hurry, you know, I sometimes I only have like 40 minutes to do a complete look and there is no time to like be very, very careful on the way you apply eyeshadow. So the reason why I do the eyes first is because in case there are fallouts, which it may happen very often, you know, after you're done with the eye makeup, you could just wipe it all off, all the fallouts that you have under your eyes wipe it all off and then go on with concealer if you already have your base and do the eye makeup and you have all those little pieces of eyeshadow under the eyes when you're gonna try to swipe them away sometimes they might leave a mark and don't try to put concealer on top of those little marks that you might have under your eyes because it's gonna turn gray in photography it's gonna look like there is something in there do not play yourself. Start with your eyes. And with Amina, I always apply a little bit of concealer on her eyelids. I'm using Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer. This is exactly what I was using on her, uh, the Jouer concealer, just a different color. Then I take this Fenty Beauty, this is the 200 eyeshadow brush. And I'm gonna apply the concealer all over the eyelid in a very very thin layer by applying a little bit of concealer it's going to make the eyeshadows look a little bit more saturated and it's going to have something to grab onto so if your eyeshadow doesn't seem to have the color payoff that you want or it doesn't seem to blend very well doesn't seem to stick very well to the skin use a little bit of concealer a lot of people like to use that a uh, paint pot from Mac I find that to be very very heavy for some skin types for example for my skin type for my eyelid that is incredibly heavy makes me look dry and old so that doesn't work for me but concealer now you're gonna be surprised by how simple this makeup is. The only color basically that I was using on her was this one, right here. This is from the Natasha Denona Lila palette. And 
on me it might not look the same because like I said she's got completely different skin tone and she also has a very olive undertone I knew that she was going to wear this beautiful Lila Valentino dress now taking a 217 brush from MAC and starting to apply the eyeshadow everywhere on the lid and the crease and she's got obviously very also very different eye shape than I do my eyes are very deep set and that's why um, my crease it's very very obvious and I always look like I have a darker eyeshadow in the crease but it's actually just the shape of my eye and then I always try to elongate a little bit the shape of the eye by pulling the eyeshadow a little bit towards the like the temples next I'm going to take a clean blending brush this is a 01 from refer and I just make sure that the edges are nice and well blended and then there is no patchiness going on sometimes the eyeshadow looks so nice and so well blended I still do this step and this is what gives that flawless look to a makeup when you're seeing it in pictures it's the extra small little steps that you take step number two would be the eyeliner when I do Amina's eyeliner I could use just a regular eyeliner she's got a beautiful eye shape not very complicated to do eyeliner so I do it pretty fast however for this event we were deciding to do this very matte very velvet kind of eyeliner and in order to do that I had to use both pencil and eyeshadow now what I uh, typically use is the Revlon cream gel it's um, Revlon colors today this is a really good black pencil so the first thing is to apply black pencil with this pencil you want to make sure that you get also in between those lashes you don't want to have that white space between the lashes and the pencil and this time we were doing a more straight eyeliner she loves to have that very lifted eye shape but this time I, I really thought it would look so much softer so much more feminine a classic eyeliner very black and not too thick now with my eye shape I have to admit it's not as easy as it is with her or maybe it's just easier for me to do someone else's makeup than myself I do very very small movements I pass that fold and I go somewhere towards the end of my eyebrow it is better if you don't do this when you're doing your uh, eyeliner because you're you will not know the positioning it's better if you do it straight into the mirror now if I raise my eyes you can see where all those folds are so basically guys when you're doing eyeliner the most important thing is to try to imagine that there's a flat image I wish I could explain this better but my vocabulary is limited imagine there is there is no like curves then you know you go on raise your eyebrows and fill in those little gaps now I take this Sigma Detailed Lip L04 brush. Now this is my holy grail. Like I cannot work if I don't have this brush. I love it so much because it's so tiny. Look at this tip. And with it, I usually apply eyeshadow on top of um, pencil. So now I take some black matte eyeshadow. The one that I use the most, honestly, is from this Huda Beauty palette as you can see it's the most used color in here this is the rose gold palette remastered and now I make sure I gently press the black 
eyeshadow on top of this pencil that I've just applied. And guys, this is not only going to make it the blackest black, but it's also going to give that very beautiful velvety finish. In pictures, it just looks beautiful. It takes a little bit more work than just an eyeliner, but it's totally worth it. Now, next step normally would be to wipe away all the fallouts that you might have from the black eyeshadow. Now, I don't think I have any because I worked very slow. Like I said, I work very, very slow when I work on myself. Yeah, there is none. Now we can move on to concealer. And I usually use the Jouer concealer on her as well, but in a very, very small quantity. I actually mix a few colors to get the, the right one for her. I'm going to use that same brush from Fenty. A little goes a long way with this concealer. It looks like it's a bit too light for me right now is because I am wearing self tan on my face ladies and gentlemen I never do that I use the Lux tan mixed a few drops with my moisturizer and applied it all over the eyes are not done but I'm going to continue um, the eyes a little bit later what I typically like to do is spread the concealer in this area right here under the eyes as much as I can stretch it I don't like a lot of concealer under the eyes because I don't powder her face usually so with that drop I don't know if you saw I had like a drop of concealer I spread it stretch it everywhere I do the same for my chin and in between my eyebrows and this is going to act like a highlighter and I like to use very very small brushes I just feel I have more control on I mean I'm using I'm always using the same foundation the Pat McGrath skin fetish it looks flawless on her skin it's amazing and I'm usually uh, using the medium deep 23 but now she was tanned so I mixed medium deep 23 with deep 29 now I I love this foundation on myself as well uh, let's mix a little bit of light medium tan with medium deep 23 this is a very liquidy foundation so you want to make sure that you shake it well before using it because all the pigment stays at the bottom of the bottle I'm only going to use a pinch of that uh, dark one. Now this is a Kat Von D brush. And now I'm going to spread the product. This brush doesn't work with this foundation so I'm going to switch it with, um, with the Sephora brush. This is the um, brush that Mario did in collaboration with Sephora. It's the foundation brush. So basically I'm using the foundation everywhere except center of the face. I've been doing this technique on her ever since I started to do her makeup and I love it the most. Now when I contour Amina's face, I would typically use this palette. Great, great palette from MAC. I am going to take this color right here for myself. With the, with this Kat Von D brush. This is a powder brush. This is a little bit warmer than the and that Tom Ford that I use. I apply it under the cheeks at the base of my hairline and then I just blend it. Take this MAC dual fiber brush and make sure this darker product is blended really nice into the skin. But this, because of the color, it acts much more like a bronzer than, you know, a contour. I wanted to have like beautiful, very sweet and fresh 
uh, cheeks and I was mixing actually these two Glossier cloud paints. One is in puff and the other one is in haze. Rougher 18 brush and I just place it on the apple of the cheek. Now we're going to get back to the eyes, back to this Natasha Denona Lila palette and I'll take this color right here, the one that we've used all over the eyelids. I apply this at the base of my lashes. Then I'm going to move on with a mascara. I will use the Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Mascara. This has a very interesting brush. It is fat on one side and then you turn it, it becomes very thin. I did my eyebrows off the camera but I was using the Glossier Brow Flick as I always do on myself. Uh, on her I was just brushing them through, applied a little bit of clear brow gel because those eyebrows in the pictures are hers so I take no credit for that let's talk about the lips so the lip liner that I was using on her, on her I just remember that I left it for her so she could reapply it but it was a Victoria Beckham lip liner I was using something that is very similar with cork from MAC but just a little bit darker than cork this is what I'm going to use now for my lips With a tiny little brush, I just soften this lip liner so it's not as dark. And here's the lip combination that I did on her. I, I used the Lisa Eldridge Skyscraper Rose Lipstick. Looks like this. And then I've mixed it with the Patrick Ta Lip Gloss. This is in She's Expensive. I'm going to take the Sigma shader lid in E56, take a little bit of this lipstick, slowly dabbing the color in the middle of the lip. So it's, you see, it's just a wash of color. It's not really that pink. Then I move on with the lip gloss. Now I'm going to take just a little bit of this um, It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. Oops, looks like this. And with this Sonia G Mini Cheek Brush, I'm going to apply some powder right here. I didn't apply powder on her, but her skin didn't shine like this. Now on Amina, I'm using this palette for a bronzer. This is the Natasha Denona. I love to use this color on her. It just gives a very beautiful bronzy color without being too present on her skin. But then on myself, I cannot use that because it's too dark. So I'm going to use this Capri Coast bronzer from Becca Cosmetics. I'll take it with the Refer 05 brush. And then when it comes to glow, for her I have always used this a combination between the Marc Jacobs Dew Drops in Tantalize. It's way too dark for me. Uh, but this is the highlighter that I use on her mixed with the 8-hour cream from Elizabeth Arden. Now, this combination, incredibly beautiful, gives you that expensive glow. Um, it makes it, really makes it look like there is her skin. It just looks something like this and then I just dab it with my fingers like on the nose sides of her forehead and 
the highest points of the cheeks. However, I cannot use this on myself. I wish. Marc Jacobs has another one. It has a lighter color, but still it's a little bit too dark for me. I, I love to use that in summer. In this video, I will use the Beauty Light one from Charlotte Tilbury. This is perfect for my skin tone. And it has a beautiful glow. Check this out. And like I said, I'm applying this on the highest points of the face because she's got very, very, very small pores. I usually go with the highlighter a little bit lower on her in this area. I cannot do this on myself because I've got very large pores and it's only going to emphasize them if I apply it in there. So I'm not gonna do it on myself. I also like to apply it on the sides of the forehead. Now I'm gonna apply some lashes and I, I typically use Ardell because they're just easy for me to buy them. And this time I am using the lash trios from Ardell. I only have a couple left. These and a couple of uh, individuals as well. Now there's no makeup that I do on her without using the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. This just gives even more glow to the skin. And I try to spray it only on the sides of the face. Then with the foundation brush, you just want to make sure there are no drops of this product anywhere. All right, guys, this is the final look. This is what I was creating on Amina Moadi for the Valentino show. It might not look like it's the same makeup on myself, but I promise you this is exactly what I did uh, on her. She's just a different person, so, you know, it's not gonna look the exact same. Hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel, click on the ring bell button. And if there are any looks that you find on my Instagram, and just any looks in general that you would want me to create or recreate, please let me know, and I'd love to do that for you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!